Tech evolves fast. And keeping up is crucial, especially when it comes to the latest developments in AI. Today, we're diving into some updates that could impact your career, whether you're focused on AI or machine learning, or just looking to stay ahead in the tech field. We'll cover new models like Mistral's 3B and Zifra's Zamba 27B, along with the legal issues around AI content usage. Plus, we'll explore how AI's reasoning capabilities are progressing and where it still has limitations. There's a lot to unpack, so let's get started. First up, let's talk about some important AI framework releases. Anthropic introduced the Message Batches API, which lets you process large volumes of data more efficiently. With up to 10,000 queries in a 24-hour window, this API is a great tool for non-real-time applications. Personally, I find a lot of the projects I work on don't require real-time processing, and having a batch API can make spinning up pipelines a lot easier to do efficiently without a ton of manual effort. There have also been some exciting model releases. Mistral recently launched their 3B and 8B models, designed for tasks like multilingual processing and edge computing. These models offer impressive performance while being resource efficient, which is becoming increasingly important as more applications move towards on-device AI. If you're looking to work with systems that balance power and efficiency, these are definitely worth checking out. For those interested in SLMs, or small language models, Zifra's Zamba 27B model stands out for its speed, generating tokens 25% faster than previous models. Faster durations and lower latency can really speed up project timelines. Plus, with its open source Apache 2.0 license, you've got the flexibility to experiment freely. Now let's shift to the legal side of things, which is becoming just as important in AI. The New York Times is currently in a legal dispute with Perplexity, an AI-powered search engine, over content usage. The Times claims their content is being used without permission, but Perplexity argues that it's simply indexing web pages in the same way traditional search engines do. This isn't just about one company. It's part of a larger conversation about how media outlets protect their content in the age of AI. The outcome could have a big impact on how AI startups operate, particularly those that rely on public data. As AI integrates further into different industries, understanding these legal and ethical challenges is becoming more and more crucial for developers. Now let's dive into something technical, AI's reasoning abilities. The right way to think of the models that we create is a reasoning engine, not a fact database. We're seeing big strides here, particularly with frameworks like OpenAI's Swarm. This new library is designed for building multi-agent systems that can collaborate on complex tasks. It supports Python function calls and allows for dynamic agent switching, opening up a lot of possibilities for developers. But despite the advancements, AI still has limits. For example, while it excels in these tasks like text generation and language processing, of course, it struggles when it comes to mathematical reasoning and solving real-world problems. This is something to keep in mind when deciding which tool to use for a project. The more you understand these limitations, the better equipped you'll be to apply AI effectively in the right contexts. Knowing when to lean on more traditional methods is just as valuable as knowing the latest AI models. To wrap up, AI continues to evolve rapidly. Whether you're working with models like Mistral 3B and Zifra Zamba 27B, or following legal trends like the New York Times versus Perplexity case, staying informed on these developments is crucial. It's not just about knowing how to use the latest tools, but also understanding the broader picture both the technical advancements and the ethical challenges that come with them. This combination of skills is what will help you stand out in the field. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more AI insights and let me know in the comments what you'd like to explore next. See you next time.